With Frame Composer, you can easily calculate the thermal transmittance value for windows and doors consisting of glazed or opaque panels with or without shutters according to the ISO norm 177. We will show you now a calculation example on a wooden window with an external shutter. We will see how it is possible with a detailed calculation to significantly reduce the value of the thermal transmittance of this window that was previously calculated with the simplified method provided in the norm. We have already calculated separately the UF thermal transmittance value of the frame sections using Frame Simulator. For each section, we made two calculations. A first calculation was made replacing the glazing with an insulation panel, as specified by the ISO 177-2 norm, obtaining in this way the UF value of the frame. Then, we have repeated the calculation with the glazing and have saved it as a second file for the section. Now, using Frame Composer, we will obtain the thermal transmission value UW for the entire window. Let's start Frame Composer. We type here a name for our window. And the external size of the frame. We give a name also to the glazing. And we write here the value of the UG thermal transmittance of the glazing that we will use in this window. We can either use a known value or compute it by ourselves, clicking on this button. Let's take a double glass. For the first pane we use a 4mm pane. Let's take the argon gas for 16mm width of the gap standard emissivity on the first slab and 0041 on the second slab gives a resistance of 0.73 square meter Kelvin per watt and on the second pan we use the standard 4 millimeters and standard conducibility. The calculated UG thermal transmittance of our glazing is then 1.1 watt per square meter Kelvin. Now we will add the values for the frame sections. For each node we must specify the size, the UF thermal transmittance value and the linear thermal transmittance Psi for the junction. We can type the values into each box or we can import them automatically from the calculation files we saved in Frame Simulator. Let's go to the file we have saved in our computer. We have saved two files for each node, one with the P that is with panel and with V that is with glass. We will take first the file with the panel and then the file with the glass. We write here the UG value and apply to every node. All the data are automatically in the boxes we have here the UF value for the left node and the PSI value is automatically calculated from the two files that we have created with the panel and with the glazing. And here we have the width of the frame. We must update the bottom node because it is different. Let's take again the two files. And now we have the final value UW of the thermal transmittance of uh, this window that is 1.28 watt per square meter Kelvin. We will add now a two sash window. Let's make a clone of the existing window, name it and add the central mullion. In Frame Composer, you can add any mullion and transom to create composed windows with multiple sashes and fixed panels. We will import here as well the data from the files. The data calculated with Frame Simulator are then imported here. So the UW is now 1.34 watts per square meter Kelvin. 
If the window is installed with a shutter, we can use the tab composition to calculate the effect of the shutter on the thermal transmittance value. Click the external closure and give a name. Then choose the window among those created and set the value of the additional resistance given by the shutter. We can calculate the resistance separately and write it here, or pick it from the library where we find all the values given by the ISO 177 norm. If we want, we can add other values to the table. Let's take the 30 mm wooden closure. We select the medium permeability and we obtain the additional resistance given by the external closure. F shut is a value that takes in consideration the total time shutters are open or closed during the day and the relevant temperatures. Usually, a 12 hours closing time is considered and if we don't have any detailed data on the temperature profile, we can assume an FS shut value of 06. As you can see, the UW value of the window is corrected with the resistance effect of the shutters and becomes 1.16 watts per square meter Kelvin. The thermal transmittance value of this window, when calculation is made according to the simplified method given in the ISO 177-1 norm, is 1.62 watts per square meter Kelvin. In this example, having calculated the thermal transmittance UF of the frame and the PSI of the spacer with frame simulator, we obtain a reduction of 0.28 watts per square meter Kelvin. Considering then the shutter's resistance with frame composer, we had a further 0.18 watts per square meter reduction. Compared with the original calculation made with the simplified method, the total decrease of the UW value was therefore 0.46 watts per square meter Kelvin, corresponding to a minus 28% reduction. With Frame Composer, you can easily calculate the thermal transmittance UW or UP of windows, doors, lift and slides, shutter boxes, as well as any other frame structure such as precast concrete panels. Frame Composer is included in Frame Simulator Pro, but you can also buy it separately. Darwin offers you a complete set of effective toolings for the thermal analysis of windows and doors, frame simulator to calculate the UF thermal transmittance of frames as well as curtain walls components, frame composer to obtain the thermal transmittance UW or UP of windows and doors with or without shutters and for curtain wall elements, mold simulator to rapidly and easily determine the thermal bridge of the joint between the frame and the wall, and brick simulator for the calculation of the thermal transmittance of bricks and masonry blocks. You will find all information on Dartwin software on website dartwin.it.